Yeah, Mr. B, what's up? <clears throat> Tier 3? No. What's up, man? Thank you for subscribing. 75 months. 75 months for Mr. B. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Sorry, we're a little bit late today. Mr. Mom is here. Don't worry. Have no fear. All right. So, <clears throat> what is up? Ask me. Thank you. Tier 1. Subscribe for 75 months, bro. Hello? Um. All right, guys. Happy Monday. Yeah, so what's up? All right, I'm taking challenges seven plus five. Do I have that? Do I have that? Do I have that? Yes, it's on the board. If you're going to make your mark among masters, you have to work far harder, more, more intensively. Put it more exactly, the work is far more complex. All right. Thanks, Asterbe, for sharing that. For subscribing, we've got um, seven plus five rapid challenges here till about two o'clock. Uh, readjusting to the time zone, we're back to yeah April Fool's Day. That's right. Oh man, I forgot. It doesn't look like do everything in place for April Fool's Day from Lee Chess. VD Day adjusts ratings to be more in line with Lee Chess. That's the Fool's Day joke. It's in the blogs. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Um, Mr. Coffee's here. Happy April Fool's Day. Happy morning. Happy Monday morning. You guys don't have off. Oh, you don't work. I forgot. No, Mr. Coffee has a job. I don't have a job. Asterby doesn't have a job. Um, Mr. Coffee, what's up there? Getting ready for work. It is six hours different, so it's 6.25 a.m., on the East Coast. <sighs> Good symbol yesterday, undefeated. Three draws. Hey, that's a nice symbol you got there. You got tomorrow night off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna run upon the upon the rapid arena tomorrow night. Um arena or or Swiss, I'm not sure yet. Any anyone, let me know what they prefer. I will take it into consideration. But um, I think the second coffee was the secret to my success yesterday. Normally, I just have one coffee, and like as the simul started, after about the first 45 minutes, I started to realize that I was dropping off, and then I had a had uh, taken 10, 10 minutes to make coffee and it's interesting that I think that really had an effect helps reduce the brain fog combat the brain fog of being middle aged upper middle aged today not very good at bullet yeah bullet um, no not a good idea bullet is not a good idea ever Maybe if you're like a teenager, but I mean, anything you want to do, improving in chess, like blitz chess should be enough. There's no reason to play one minute chess. You can play five plus two, I mean, three plus two, or, you know, maximally three O. But to play faster than that is simply ridiculous. That's a recurring theme here in my streams, but I, I've always believed that. It's not something like, because I'm old. I always thought bullet was stupid, even back in like 1995. Um, so this is not something I'm just like getting old and preaching, you know. I mean, whatever. But um, yeah, I realize that people don't have time, but probably should try to take up a different sport if you don't have five minutes put together for a blitz game. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, no challenges. Astrobe, thanks for resubscribing. Bullet is good cardio. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. Not really. Probably not really. Uh. It it's it's maybe like. It might even be bad cardio. I don't know. I have to talk to a doctor about that. You're like kind of artificially stimulating yourself. Um. Yeah, man. I mean, I've had I've had anxiety dis disorder in the past, and I mean, I've had I've had blitz games where I, like my heart would start palpitating and stuff because I was so pumped up on adrenaline. I mean, it's dangerous, even I guess. Well, that was G South saying it's good cardio. No, I don't know, man. Sometimes I feel like it could be dangerous. It's sort of unnatural. But anyway, Ned I is challenging me to 7 plus 5. Yeah. But we got the beta blockers on, so... That makes me not, not get too carried away with the adrenaline. Which is a bad thing. Now I got the beta blockers. Why do I take beta blockers? For... For high blood pressure. Although my blood pressure is not that high, it's a little high. All right. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3. Um, yeah, I don't think I slept enough last night. Start, like, focusing on negative things. Have anyone else noticed that? I mean, when you're tired, when you're tired or sleep deprived, there's more of a tendency to kind of see negative negative things. I wonder why that is exactly. I find that I'm reckless and uh, and also tend to dwell on things like being hy hypochondriacal and st stuff like that. I'm more of a hypochondriac. If I'm tired, I think I'm like dying of everything. And uh, you get more dreadful sort of thoughts and stuff. What's that? I can't challenge somehow. Bro, I can't help you with that. I can't help you with that, man. Your account has probably been blocked by Lee Chess or something. All right, Schumacher is here. I like how Schumacher, he like, he complains that I didn't analyze his game in the stream, but he sends a message that I don't see, like when my stream starts on Thursday. If you're gonna send stealth, you know, if you, if you got like shadow ban and you send stealth messages to me, you know, don't be surprised if you send them at the last minute that I don't notice the game and put it in. If you're going to be shadow banned, you got to send it earlier. Check. <sighs> All right. G South can't challenge. Yeah, you can't challenge because you're challenged. complex needs he has complex needs I saw yesterday like in the UK we have like we have special needs students in the US in the UK they, they call them complex needs hey I have complex needs alright guys well, I feel like I've had this position before. You're just, like, dropping your G2 pawn. I've, I've, like, literally had this exact position before on the stream. And he takes, bishop takes G2, rook G1. The question is, would I have had it against the exact same player? Which I sort of doubt. Your count is flagged. Oof.
Wasn't me. If you need a witness at your trial to say that you're not a cheater, G Souths, I'm happy to volunteer. But I don't think that we just cares, really. Once they flag people, it's like a death sentence. Damn, dude, his account is flagged. What does it say? Yeah, I don't. Th I, I assume he didn't know that, Mr. Goffey. Damn. Yeti, what are you doing? Oh, Mr. Coffee. That was bad, dude. Wow, Mr. Coffee with the April Fool's joke. Saying that G Souths' account was, was flagged. Damn, dude, that's just... You had me fooled completely. Wow, I really believed him. Dude, Mr. Coffee, you're good at that. You found your calling in life, doing like April Fools to people. Yeah, it's it's better if you're kind of a deadpan, you know. Being a joker is is not good if you're gonna do. Open the pub up. See you tomorrow. Good luck with the pub. Um, the, the, the Yeti. Yeti, Netty the Yeti. I guess I put my king on the wrong square, huh? Jeez, look at that. Look at that combo. Rook takes e6, king takes e6, queen f5 check. That's not April Fool's Day. That's serious shit right there. Thanks, B Jock. <clears throat> Thanks for the the spoiler. Yeah. B Jock, are you drinking? No, I didn't hang any rooks. Are you drinking? What's with the spoilers here? Yeah, but see, we don't take your jokes as well as Mr. Coffee's. Because you're more of a joker. Damn, dude. Nedai is not not fully awake yet he just doesn't do defense he's graduated from defense the art of defense he only does attack no defense isn't yeah there's some Karyakin book like that terrible <clears throat> oh, there's a basketball player. Are you you're talking sports? They always say that about um, sports players, minister of defense or whatever. Somebody's always the minister of defense. Yeah, I forgot how Nettie doesn't use time and plays like a noob. doesn't resign lost position terrible I guess there's enough threats here to kind of justify his not resigning but not by much so how much are you down here anyway a lot of material g2 Preventing Rook F1. Jeez, dude. This is really hopeless. Uh, 
How much material are you down here? You're down a piece. And I mean you're down you're down a queen for the exchange. That's a big exchange. The large exchange. Ugh. What's up, guys? April Fools. Yeah, I'm not good with April Fools jokes. Also, need to wake up. Need to wake up. Our, where's our challenge from? B Jock, no challenge? You're not in a hurry. That's your April Fool's Day joke. <clears throat> Did something to my left leg. I injured my left leg while sleeping. I don't understand the muscle hurts, but I don't remember hurting it. Okay, the simuls can be dangerous. Yeah, it takes me a while to wake up, man. The coffee, maybe the coffee will kick in. All right, Schumacher, you're still disappointed I didn't get a rise of my intended victim. He's, dude, he's right now, he's like, he's like emailing. Mr. Coffee, he's like emailing like all the admins on the chest to get his account unbanned. He hasn't even like said a peep since you mentioned that. He's been gone, dude. He's like panicking. No joke. All right, now it's interesting. No one plays Bishop G4 when I play this line against random noobs, the two knights variation, which I don't know that well, to be honest. Um, I'm just like not getting anybody playing the old line with Bishop G4. You're so tired of Karo Khan. Right, so why do you keep playing it? That's why you need to have more than one opening, B Jack. That's why I like... That's why I like, um... You know, having a repertoire where you play several different things. Of course it's gonna... Anything you play over and over again is gonna get tiring. I mean, how could it not, you know? So I've got E5, E6 here. Isn't that, like, killing? Killing in the name of... No, I don't know if it's killing, but it's probably good. All I know is that nobody plays Knight of Six. You're trying to switch to the Scandinavian, uh huh? Okay, there you go. Dude, I had a terrible game against Gina Rook. Where I was like. But I thought I made like natural moves the whole time. I was like lost after 10 moves. What the heck was that about? How is this pawn sack? Is this nothing? Is this just nothing? Really? Hmm. Interesting. You know, there's more than one way to skin. The opponent here. Uh, what's up with E6? Okay. See, the thing is, if I play D4, he can undouble his pawns. So I was thinking maybe I don't play D4. 
and still have compensation. The argument would be like the damage is done. It better to be, you know, playing like D3 and, and what are you going to do with your dumb double pawns? Like, pretty common King's Indian type of concept. So, in addition to D3, no, I mean, I think I have to play something. I could attack the pawn, but like what, Queen G4? That's not very constructive. So my my theory here anyway that may not be valid is that I might have compensation based on uh, white squares and, and the pawn disruption. She just knows that line very well. Having omitted H3 many times. Yeah, but you you did something bad like you tricked me or something. You suggested that I play bishop g4? Or somehow made some sort of telepathic suggestion? That I do something I shouldn't do? Or I feel like I did something wrong, very wrong. Of course, I never played queen takes d5, so I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I think I, think I have to change my, my setup there. Queen takes d5. I didn't remember the move order. It was queen takes d5 at knight f3, right? What about h4, h5 now? I'm kind of liking that. I'm just playing the king's Indian. What are you playing? Well, e5 quick. E5 done quick. What's up with that move? Are you going to put your knight on f7? I guess I could also play queen g3. I probably should have considered that. That way I wouldn't even have to like fianchetto. I could have just played like bishop e2. Yeah, maybe queen g3 was best. This is a mistake. I'm thinking too much about this pawn. Mmm, pawn. Which is really not not the point here, necessarily. I don't like black's position. So e4, d5 takes, queen takes, knight f3. Yeah, well you can't play e5 right away or you're playing like some kind of bad elephant gambit, so... Black has to play... I know what I did, didn't I? I did that, didn't I? Oh, I see what I did there. So what I did is just bad. I put my knight on f6. Yeah, nobody, like, warned me. Hey, you're an idiot. You're putting your knight on f6. No wonder I had such a bad position. Oh, that's what it was. I put my knight on f6. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to put your knight on f6. I mean, I'm not supposed to put my knight on f6. Oh, you could look at the stats there. It's very bad for me. Of course, that's what it was. Now I have f4 at some point. <sighs> wow. Some point. But bishop h3, this is important now. Okay, bishop h3. No, it's not that simple. I have to play knight c6 first in the line that we played. And I just like do that sometimes in the simul, so I'll just toss out some moves before I really start clearly focusing. And then next thing I know, I'm playing some totally bad position before I even get out of the gate. Yeah, queen d5 is... I really don't have any games with queen d5 Scandinavians. 
It's something I've played on a very rare occasion, but I never studied it. I played it like... It's funny, I mean, for... I remember like winning one game in a Queen D5 Scandinavian back in like 1990 or 1991. And I guess at some point I just didn't play it anymore. I just didn't like it. But I don't remember, it's funny, I don't remember like losing a bad game. Usually you like, you lose a bad game with an opening. You're like, I'm never gonna play this again, this sucks. But it was funny, like, the last game I remember playing with the, with the Queen D5 Scandinavian, I won in like six moves. I guess it was just too easy and I decided to stop playing it or something. No, I mean, I played it in Blitz, I guess, and then I just didn't really like my results that much. I suppose. Bishop takes or queen takes? No, I mean, it's very natural. White plays e4, black plays d5. White takes, I take with the queen, you play knight f3, and now it's just like auto automatic reaction for me to play knight f6, like it's developing my king side. I just do it without thinking. You'd think it would be a good move, but it's actually inaccurate surprising so a lot of people fall for that or fall into that shall we say um yeah how about development castle queen side no and black has to be very ex expert in that andrew martin variation did you, did you have private lessons with Andrew Martin? Is he your coach? Coach Andy. I never met Andrew Martin. Oh. Andrew Martin taught at your school, he taught you how to play chess. That's a strange coincidence. No, but then he's been teaching, like he's been doing chess instruction for forever. So I literally had, a, a, you know, one of my first, well, not one of my first books, but anyway, I mean, he has chess books going back into the eighties. I have a King's Indian book from the late eighties by Andrew Martin. So, yeah. Oh, he's a pretty good player. A lot of people are like these days. It seems like a lot of coaches are like scammers, you know, back in that, and uh, those days there wasn't as much room for scammers. Maybe there were still scammers, but not as many, not as prol prolific as they are now. But it seems to me like Andrew Martin is, is a serious, I mean, he's done zillions of coaching courses on chess base and stuff. I mean, he's not as cute as Danny King, but <laughs> I feel like Gina Rook. But, um... No, I, I I think that they're both classic chess chess coaches. Miss Chuck, what is a Miss Chuck? How many Miss Chucks does it take? Miss Chucks. A Miss Chuck would if a Miss Chuck could. If a Miss Chuck could Chuck would. Seriously. Damn, dude, coming with the knight a5. Yeah, that's great, Sun Prism. I mean, you know, most people have, like, some random guy who's, like, lives in his mom's basement, be their chess coach at their school or something. You actually had, like, a really good player as, as your school chess coach. He's, like, the same strength as me. I mean, with even more coaching experience. Uh... That's great, you know, of course that's great. Not too many people are gonna have a quality,
quality chess coach. No wonder you're, you know, you're a pretty good player. I mean, if you had a bad chess coach, you probably wouldn't be nearly as good. It's also inspiring when you have someone who actually knows what they're doing. I mean, there's a lot of losers running around trying to be chess coaches. And, um... No, I mean, Andrew Martin is, is good. Of course. Players with, with experience as authors. You know, Silman passed away recently, but he's another from the American side, a really experienced player. I am pretty strong, but with extensive like coaching, teaching experience. Um, you know, on some random online dude who posts blogs about the top 20 whatever. Anybody can do that. You know what I like the best? Like people that are using the AI art on all their blogs. Okay. We're all going to use AI art a little bit here and there, but uh, some people are just taking it overboard. Okay, that's good. We had a dedicated chess teacher. Oof. Oof. Gina Rook is insulted that we're belittling the, the below Andrew Martin. No. No, I, I don't mean to like belittle the dedicated chess teachers who really put their heart in, and I'm just saying like, not too many people are going to be able to get an, an elite level chess coach, you know, at their school. I mean, Sun Prison was really lucky. Of course, a lot of people who are 1600 could be good chess coaches and inspiring. You don't have to be a famous chess author to be a good chess coach. Yeah. Well, you need someone who's dedicated. The most important thing is, is passion. You know, passion. But there's also the possibility that the weaker chess coaches are going to actually teach bad stuff that makes people learn the wrong things. So, believe me, they're out there in every subject. My third grade teacher was. My third grade teacher was like the worst ever. I still have PTSD. Oh man, you have Rook takes F4. Look out. Look out for the Rook takes F4. Where are you going, boss? Nice try there. Schumacher. He likes getting his knights dominated by bishops. Yesterday it was my bishop on d6 dominating his knight on a6. Now it's the other way around. Oh, you're talking about that. The highest rated move versus knight f3 is e5. I'm not threatening bishop takes h6, just saying. You're, you're saying the highest rate is move against, against, rate of three is e5. Um, well, we need to know your, your source. Are we talking Lee Chess Master Database, uh, a real database, or or like Lee Chess, General Lee Chess, Opening Explorer. That makes a big difference, obviously. What the heck is E5? Oh, that's chess, chess. Oh, no. 365 chess, uh-huh. Dude, I have no idea about these online chess sites, how, how, um, how good their data is. I mean, I just gave up on, like, chess base and chess databases in general. If I was, like, playing chess professionally full-time, I would, uh, I would worry about it. Oh, my God. Look at that rook. That rook, bro. <gasps> I have queen e8. I don't have queen e8. 
Damn, I almost on my queen. That was your 26th move. Man, he is cagey, isn't he? Coming with the cheapos 24-7. He's got cheapos 24-7. Unbelievable. Dirty, rotten, cheapos. You are dead. Dirty, rotten, cheapos. All right. So let me, let me just, just hear this out again. You're saying e4, d5, pawn takes pawn, queen takes d5. And now three knight f3. Black playing e5 there. Bro. I, uh, no. I mean, you're playing a reversed. Dude, there's no way. That's. What are you going to play? You're going to transpose the elephant gambit? That That's horrible for black. E5. What are we talking about? Like, you're playing this crazy shit. Like, what are you, where are you putting your queen on? C5? You want to play, like, the engine? There's an engine line. You can play knight C3, queen C5. Like, the hall variation. Um, or you can also play queen D6. Yeah, I know e6 isn't really a man move. I thought you said man move. Main move. Alright, first things first. This thing. No, you're supposed to play... You're supposed to play e6, dude. But maybe knight f6 isn't so bad. Now here we go with statistics again. Knight of six is six hundred games. You know, I got confused. Knight of six is not a main move, but I'm surprised how many games there are. Wow. There's this many games with this thing? Wow. The Minden Mindenyo variation. Wow, Magnus played this once. I didn't know this was even, like, really considered good. Huh. Yeah, Black has, uh, even score. And funny, no one ever plays this. So... Wow, there's only two games where people even dared to do what I did. Julio Astos. It's a... Uh, Venezuelan I am. I think he was like president of the Venezuelan Chess Federation when I was down there. Um, or maybe I'm confusing him with someone else, but... He definitely played in the U.S. at some point in the 90s. The other guy, I have no idea who that is, but, um, wow. So my pawn sack has hardly ever been played. Well, obviously, like, d4 is a move. It's safer. This is interesting, though, you know? Now, after takes, I played a novelty d3. Yeah, I don't think that d4 makes any sense. Look at these guys. They played d4 here. How the heck does d4 make any sense in this position for white? You have to be, like, positionally retarded to play that. You play d4, black just plays e5 and trades off... Trades off your center. It's, like, absurd. Yeah, so the whole point is to not play d4 for white in this position. Maybe I don't have enough compensation. But as far as I'm concerned for, like, a blitz game or whatever... 
strategically, there's some compensation. Arsenal would say we have comp. We definitely have compensation. Damn. Fifty dollars, dude. Where? Um. Well, Arsenal is challenging me as we speak. Damn, fifty dollars. I mean, come on, dude. It's it's regional. <sighs> I live in Hungary, so I can pass on the savings to the consumer. They're complaining about fifty dollars. Damn, in the United States, it's like a hundred. If you want, if you want like a really good coach. In New York City, it's probably like a hundred and fifty. If I lived in New York City, I would be charging like three times as much. Totally depends on where you are. Uh, but anyway, this I thought was an interesting idea, you know? So the best moves apparently should be two, but I thought I messed up later. Like when you go, you go what, G6? I guess G6 is, G6 is okay. It may not be best. Here I messed up. Maybe not, okay, H4 is good. The other possibility was this. Anyway, B Jack. I think this is an interesting gambit for white, you know? I think I have... Mm, fine gold. Fine gold is, is, like... Fine gold is seriously... Yeah. Maybe. But I, you know... Look, I don't know. I don't know about fine gold. I never thought of him as a coach, you know? But whatever. Feingold is a decent player, but you know, I don't know. So, anyways, going back, going back, yeah, that's like the I want to find rich people price, and and I'll just like get a couple rich guys to pay me. They're not really chess coaches. He was a coach for many U.S. teams. Dude, what are you talking about? All right. I like how Bijas coming with the U.S. info. Damn, dude. What's with the fine gold worship? He was Nakamura second. Come on, dude. All right. Yeah, Nakamura also had a guy who was like 2100. Or maybe he was like even lower. He had like a 1900 at his second, as his second. Nakamura's really, he's, He's really big on, on like choosing his seconds because they have to be like non-threatening or something. The the guy, you know, he never had he never had like a real second, dude. I mean, come on. What are you talking about? Dude, get out of here. Stop with the April Fool's shit. Um, Alright. Sun Prism, Arsenal fan. Hikaru is like a one-man chess machine, dude. He, he, he learned chess from his dad. And then he, you know, his stepfather. And then he, he basically became one of the best online Blitz players in the world. Just playing and playing and playing. He's not like he had coaches and stuff like that so much. Um, I think various people he claimed were his seconds and stuff. Like, Levy, Levy Roseman is his new second. I mean, I don't know, dude, whatever. Not seconds in a, in a true sense. Um, 
Feingold is my second. He teaches me how to, he teaches me how to how to meet girls. Maybe Feingold was his second, like as a life coach or something. Um. All right. What do we got? Arsenal fan. I think I want to have Ben Feingold be my second. If I was like world championship material. Come on, dude. Good morning, Ars. Ben Feingold is going to like posthumously be like a legend or something. I mean, he's not a bad player, but he was never anything special. Arguably not that much stronger than me. Um, but whatever. A bullet chest, maybe. So... What are we what are we doing? Oh yeah, Scandinavian. I just wanted to show this. So Gina Rook was like playing this against me yesterday and, and I was like playing on autopilot and I played knight f six here. And it's just a bad move. And you're not seriously talking about E five in this position. Because this is like doing this with white. Do you know what you're you're recommending, Gina Rook? You're playing the the center attack like down a tempo or something. Like takes. I can take and play knight f6. Like you would Queen takes d4. I would be like playing knight f6 and getting another move. I'm playing the black side of the center attack with an extra move. The center attack sucks for black. I mean sorry. The center attack sucks for white, but it's probably well, just slightly worse. Um, and now you're gonna like give give the opponent an extra move. That's what we're talking about. So already the center attack can't give white an advantage. But we're gonna give black an extra move. So like knight f6 and knight c6? Are you freaking kidding, kidding me? No, this is really bad. So, for example, e4, d5, takes, queen takes d5, knight f3. I'd love this to work, but it doesn't work. So after knight c3, the computer will point this out, which hasn't been played in any games. The hall variation reversed. Well, I'm not going to play that in a serious game. And I seriously have full confidence that white is better here. The The other variation, you know, that seems a little more sensible is queen d6, I guess. Or queen e6, maybe. Queen e6. And then there's this, very strangely, there's only one game, right? Borky versus Runich, that 2007. And white actually played what you know, what may be the best move here, bishop e5 check. Oh no, Borky didn't play it, he played bishop e2. See, this is maybe, maybe not aggressive enough. Yeah, the idea is bishop e5 check, okay. So you've got one game where this actually happened, and it's like, yeah, it's an elephant reversed. I don't know about b3 Arsenal fan, it's probably just a move. But the main idea is to come here, and then fall back with bishop a4, bishop e6. And then you have the bishop from hell on the a2, g8 diagonal, like that. So check, black played bishop d7, and that's probably, you know, somewhat logical. Because if you play c6, or knight c6, there's this and this, which is very strong. So black plays bishop d7, but dude, what the heck is going on with this here? I don't know, man, I don't, I don't like white's, I'm um, sorry, black's position. So, no, I don't think that's a legitimate thing. I think you gotta play, like that's blitz, fine. Play what you want, but you gotta play bishop g4. And and maybe I can play, well, I, I don't know. The only other question would be knight c6. And this is bad as well, let's see. 
If we play knight c6, knight c3... I mean, no, this may be worth a try for black. I don't know. You know, I don't know. This is dubious. That's for princev. So, I guess black has to try queen h5. Which is also... Mestrovich played it. Yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, no. The, 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 the good players have pretty much like agreed that like black has to play bishop g4 right away. Yeah, Arsenal fan, I'm sure b3 is a move, but it's not the computer's number one. All right, anyway, prism. Yeah, I mean, white probably has more than one good move. But it's just like, you know, b3, no, it's fine. It's like playing b6 in a scotch. Yeah, that's that's an alternative. More efficient to develop the bishop from c1, but in one shot. But anyway, like, I played knight f6 and already black has a bad position. I mean, it's pretty, pretty sad. Uh, you're thinking of the knight c3 variations, no? Anyway, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. I mean, what database says e5 is black's third best move? Maybe the engine or something, I don't know. Ah, Spanish. No martial gambit? Yeah, we'll probably see the Marshall Gambit. Sun Prism is studying with Arsenal fan. Hmm. No Marshall Gambits. Yeah, I mean, if you put your queen on d6, there's definitely g3, bishop f4 in any situation. I would agree. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like the marshal. I always thought this was too lame, though, you know? And that's why we all have to be like chickens and all play the Joko piano with white. E4, E5 is like the reputation of chess. So now, okay, knight A5 is a threat. How is a4 here? Yeah, it runs into this bishop g4 thing. So you like have to do something about that. You have to play c3 now. I'm literally playing an Italian game. Arsenal fan. <clears throat> no, um, no April Fool's Day today? Mr. Coffee earlier told he told G South that his account was flagged. And the guy just hasn't hasn't sent a comment since that. I you know because Mr. Coffee's always like pretty serious, and I, I thought, holy shit, the dude just flagged. I never thought he was cheating. I told him I would testify on his behalf at the trial if he promised not to use AI. Um, let's see. Yeah, if I'm if I'm playing black, I'm playing black. What am I playing black against here? Just pretend you're playing black. Classically. Black is a new white. No, Mr. Goff, you have a sense of humor, but usually you're fairly straight.
But you're usually laughing at, at, at the jokes. Here you were like laying one, laying one down. I, I totally bought it. I, I mean, I, I'm not surprised when anybody gets flagged. I wouldn't be surprised if I woke up tomorrow my account was flagged. <sighs> no one's ever accused me of cheating though. Cause I suck so bad. All right, anyway, rookie one. Well, we just have to accept that this is boring, but it's only boring temporarily. You know, be patient. Can lead to complex games later. All right, uh, just just dropping back to C2. What was your last move? Castle's right, okay, so knight d2, knight f1. All rather routine, right? Black normally plays, well, actually, I have to say his h6 is kind of unusual. Well, Arsenal fan, uh, so, you know, you're advanced enough to appreciate that it's not boring, but a lot of people probably aren't. It's like, if all you do is sit around watching TikTok videos, then I guess watching like a space odyssey is going to seem pretty boring. It's kind of like, yeah. You have to have an appreciation. <laughs> a little deeper. That's why I don't like playing closed openings in, in fast time controls. Because you really need, you need time. That's funny. Rugby, Lopez. That I never heard before. Are you typing that on your phone? You got like an autocorrect? Keyboard autocorrect, rugby. Rugby Lopez. Yeah, Arsenal. Sun Prism said that he had Andrew Martin as as his school coach. That's that's how he learned chess. I never met Andy Martin, but um, I appreciate his his work as as a trainer. You know, I mean, he always seemed like a very competent and uh, knowledgeable author. And he doesn't, you know, he never really published trash. You know, a lot of people tend to do trash. They would, they would produce a lot of stuff. Even some good players would produce a lot of stuff. But some of it would, would be like just trashy, quickly cranked out stuff. But it seemed like Andy Martin always was, was pretty diligent. Um, I think, yeah, I remember you saying that. They complimented Arsenal. They must be good. All right, so h6 is interesting though. You know, it does rule out the future bishop g5s. I wonder about the delayed d4 though. Certainly would be counterintuitive. I would just be down a tempo in a Chigorin. So, Well, knight f1 at some point. There's no reason to play h3 yet. Sun Prism is slowed down. He's not spewing moves like Arsenal fan. Arsenal fan would have six minutes left at this point, at least. But he's got three Red Bulls empties on the desk. Something like that. No shortage of adrenaline with the Arsenal fan. My coffee's kicked in a little, speaking of adrenaline. Um, rookie 8 looks like right. 
You know, I'm, I'm never, I never really played these quiet closed lines much. A little. I never really played E4 for that matter. That much. Um, so there's no bishop g5, I and mean, that's a major plan, usually, for white to try to get control of the d5. And without that, you're like, well, what do I do now? Okay, we just have to go knight g3. This is interesting, he's left his bishop here, right? Useful. I'm black and you're white. What would white be if, if white was black? What opening would it be? If black was white, what would he be playing? Like something like a a three e four, knight f three a three, Re reversed Roy Lopez. Um, you know I'll do like e forty five knight f three, knight c six, a three. I mean, white setup looks like, like an Italian game, but the bishop's on e7, not on c5. And if I don't have bishop g5 ideas, then, and now he's going back, he's like protecting e5. d5 becomes a threat, especially since I don't have like bishop g5. We could argue that d5 becomes a threat. So what do I do? Well, that's the million dollar question. What, what do we do? H3 standardized testing, complex, Arsenal fan, I, I read in the BBC an article, I didn't realize that in the UK, special needs is complex needs. You guys are over there, it's, everything sounds, sounds more sophisticated. I think complex is too, is too complex for Americans to understand what that word means, probably. The average American would be like, I don't even know who the president is. Uh, complex. Complex needs. Complex needs. I guess special needs is too discriminatory. So they have to use complex. Oh, complex sounds better. That's new. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Special. Someone must have complained about special. Yeah, it's same in the United States. I was surprised by the complex needs. It's like a new PC way of saying special needs. That's like when I tell people that their moves are interesting. It's even better than special. It's complex. Everything's just spin, you know? We're just spinning it a different way. What am I doing now? F4, anyone? Computers be like, oh, that's a terrible idea. Knight e7. Dropping back and controlling the fight, or continuing the fight for d5. You gotta admit that complex sounds cooler than special. Special is just an ordinary word. And complex is actually more special than special. What would George Carlin say if he were still alive? I think that's the real question. Speaking of stuff. All right. 
show me something here. I, I Knight f5? Can I do it? Should I do it? Is it good? Ris risque. The misses. Word appropriation. It sounds like a letter game or something. It sounds like a New York, New York Times puzzle game. Interesting needs. Oh no, you know, now there's there's G3, the old G3, G3, where's your knight going? What about King H2? Good thing you've got a square on D5. King H2. White squares. Yeah. What's your plan? To like trade queens or something? Not really a plan per se. Okay. Now I'm getting very minimalistic and positional in my old old age. But again, see this game is a perfect example of it's really a perfect example why I say that I don't like playing closed positions with, with fast time controls. Because it's gonna just it's gonna get to degenerate now. My head hurts. Real bad. Okay, A4 is is cool. Very likely a mistake. I don't know what to do. Looks like white is better, but the engine will be like, oh no, black's fine. Oof, that's not okay. That's definitely not okay. White square. There was a white square emergency. White square alert. Yeah, you can't, you gotta be extra careful with the white squares. So what happened there? What do we got for time, by the way? Another hour? Um, what happens uh, in this opening? Like, is H6 even a normal move? All right. So look at that statistics. It's unbelievable. Look at the statistics here. I mean, seriously, it's it's outrageous. There's 513 games where black castled kingside. 34 games where black played like knight a5. Five games with bishop g4, which Arsenal has probably played against me. And one game where someone played h6. There's 551 games and one player played your move h6. Okay, I mean, playing it before castles is, is pretty unusual. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's probably fully playable. I'm actually surprised by the narrow, the fact that only four moves have been played here. I mean, what's wrong with, like, rook b8, for example? You know, I mean, you could play bishop d7. Oh, look who played bishop d7. Nigel Short, just to be weird, played bishop d7. But, you know, Nigel has a point. It's like, okay... How bad can it be? You know, it's like a neutral move. It can't be that bad. Hey, we're out of book. Um, all right, h6. Wow, I played, I think I'm an engine. But I played, you know, very routine moves here. Castles now we're transposing. And then on bd2, 
we transpose knight a5, bishop c2, still surprising how few games there are, c5, and now we're transposing to more games, rook e8, knight g3, knight c6, and now h3, okay, so at this point, there's, there's a break between bishop e6 and bishop f8. And if you think about it, bishop e6 makes a lot of sense because you played h6. So I can't harass you with knight to g5. I'm not, yeah, I, I'm not obliged to play h3 necessarily. So the vast majority of players here play d4. Interesting. And that's the move the computer likes. Arsenal's a4 is also possible. Yeah, this feels wrong. I mean, it feels wrong. Because the center is fluid, and you can play d5, and you should. This is the only move I'm afraid of. This enables you to get counterplay, and you're not just like a punching bag on the king's side. Flank attack must be answered by a strike in the center. My knight pulls off of f3, I'm taking pressure off the center, so you have to strike. And then I have to like suck it up and allow like things like d4 or whatever. Domination of, no, I mean it's arsenal, it's, it's a totally normal struggle. I have good control of f5, but he has the advantage in the center now. So it's a complex game with chances for both sides, obviously. All right, Arsenal fan is up next. Domination of the spouse. Spousal domination. I'm suing my wife for spousal domination. Speaking of the Scandinavian, we'll just continue the theme, shall we? Or play knight f6. Ah, tricked you. So if queen takes d5, we transpose, or you have knight f3. And then I'm, I'm in the, the gina rook position. That's why we play this. Shit, why didn't I play the Portuguese gambit? Oh my god. I meant to play the Portuguese gambit. What's with all these Scandies lately? It's just as simple as... Mr. Coffee, it's, um... It's effective because it, it leads to open positions. And I realized I wasn't, I wasn't playing the Scandinavian at all. And I mean, I did used to play it all the time. In fact, it was one of my main openings at one point. But I sort of gave it up. And, um, and then I realized that it's a, it's a really effective opening in, in like faster time controls. And it disrupts people. And even though it's like totally against principles, I mean, I don't mean to be overly dogmatic, but, and I like John Bartholomew. I think he's a quality player. But we've got to admit that the Scandinavian is just incorrect, you know, fundamentally incorrect to a degree. And I think, you know, most people just don't have the capacity to look even, I, I don't know how to get an advantage with white necessarily, but it's out there. It's like, it's like the X-Files, basically. There's a very strong correlation between the, um, the Scandinavian and the X-Files. 
The truth is out there. We just don't know where it is. Um, I know that aliens exist, but where are they? You know. I know the Scandinavian is bad, but show me the refutation. You know, simple, simple refutation. Not really. The answer is it's complicated. That's why, you know, Anand could play this game naming against Kasparov. Um, please don't kill me. How do I have E5? E5 is ugly. I want to play E5. It would be funny if you trap my knight with d5, though. That would be really... That would be really amusing, Arsenal fan. Why am I hesitating on bishop g4 here? And what the hell else would I do? Well, I was seriously thinking of playing e5, but it's just overtly unsound. Even more on sound than the Scandinavian. Arsenal's going, uh. He's going. solid on me. He's capable of playing solidly. Okay, he's not a maniac. Practical. <sighs> Keel variation. Keel Beal. Get that joke all the time, especially in poker. Hungarians and Eastern Europeans in general tend to say Beal, which is really annoying. I kind of hate the way it sounds. Wheel, Beal, whatever. It's Eel. Milk. Buy some milk. Milk. Beal. Can you b buy the milk? All right, all right. Milk. I had this Serbian woman who was my friend's wife. Uh, she would say, Mealy, Bealy. His name was Bill. And she would call him Beely. Beely. I'm just ranting. I'm, I'm crazy, right? Let's face it. Chess and streaming is making me bipolar. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. And uh, don't forget to donate. 280.66. Guys, we need to get to $2,000. But by the July 1st cutoff date or I'm going to be filing for bankruptcy. Might nearly transpose. Well, that would have been a transposition in the opening. Okay. Night retreat anywhere? Um, no. This is your brain on the Scandinavian. Oh. I'm curling up in a ball here. No, I have knight c8. I'm going to drop a bishop. Guys, don't try this at home, okay? This is an extreme variation we're playing. The so-called keel variation. That's why I started saying keel bill. Now I remember. Tuprak has followed. Tuprak Shakur. Check. Okay. Um, take. Take, take there. That's worse than my game with Gina Rook. Um, would be worse. Try to keep it clean, boys. 
think you should definitely trade queens here. You should seriously consider queen takes d5 now. Or maybe maybe the pawn sacrifice castles. It is, yes. Very deep, Gina Rook. Gina Rook has no complex needs. Basic needs. I have basic needs. Oh, wait a second. So if I take, you take with the bishop most likely, and I have a check, that sucks. I'm giving up my bishop, really, bishop. Yeah, I mean, it's ugly, but. And we have to do what we have to do. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Please don't drop a bishop. <laughs> hey. Check. He did the check. You're such a weirdo. Always check it might be mate. Maybe it's not a bad move. But you know I'm not going to hang my, my bishop, first of all. Second of all, what about queen d7? I mean, bishop b5 may not even work. Let's see. Queen d7, bishop b5, c6. Now you could try the crazy knight e5, but then I'm taking. It doesn't work. Huh. Queen d7. What if he just moves his queen again? Oh, no problem. Queen e4. Bishop d7. Queen e4. Yeah, I think I like this better, actually. Oh. Really? Well, that's interesting. That's a really interesting move. Wow. Queen takes d5. Bishop e the check here. Bishop e6. Come on! Queen C8, obviously. Seriously, it might not be that bad. The 95 is, is haunting me. The haunting. Bishop C4, Queen E4 check. Sees everything. God, he's really like a tactical, tactical wizard, wizardry. Wait a minute, yeah. He plays some tactical wizardry. My rook is hanging. Yes. Yes, it is. What are you going to do about it? Wait a minute. Where are you going? Oh. Okay. Damn it. Damn. If I play queen d5, I lose my c7 pawn. 
So that's really the least of my concerns. That should be the least of my concerns. Yeah. I mean, this is a circus act. I... Yeah, yeah. My queen on c6 is strangely placed there. Wow. Hugo. takes. Wait, can I castle queenside? Is that still legal? I could have played king takes and maybe g6, king g7, it just occurred to me. Dude. Step off that. What's that about? He loves attacking things. Arsenal fan just like lives to attack stuff. I should have castled Queenside at some point. Absolutely. Ah, that was a big mistake. I made a big mistake there. I made a big mistake. I should have played g6 with my king on f8. But it's unbelievable how strong he is and how fast he is. He does make blunders. 2200 in bullet. So he's been playing a lot of bullet. He's got a lot of games actually. It's an amazing amount of games Arsenal. You're up to like 60,000 games. Is my math good? He's got an enormous amount of games now. It was a huge mistake not to play G6 before. Okay, G4, I think. Maybe the first move he's made that we can... We can actually... Call it dubious. Call me dubious. I see. Checky, checky. I'm just happy to be alive, man. How's my board? Is it on the screen right? Now it's not. Sorry, I just wanted to check check something may I play with you after uh, if it's someone else challenging that was here first and you have a hundred rated games must be blockaded. Okay, this is a tough position. I don't exactly know what I should do.
don't rightfully know what I should do, but I think I should push past pawn. He does have a blockade. Hmm, not sure if that's a good move. I don't know if, okay, he just pushes my knight away, but... Now he goes there. Very nice. What's the material count? Count Chocula. Oh, brother. You gotta be kidding me. He wanted to play for the cheapo mate. Still. Still got it. To do anything to play for cheapos. It's so sick, man. He plays a lot of bullet chess, I guess. 13,000 games, 15,000 blitz, and 11,000 rapid. That's a lot of rapid games. When are you getting in all those games? Yeah, draw. Obviously, it's a draw. But I was... Oof, yeah... Dude, you have too much time at the end. Somehow you gotta slow down a little bit to try to squeeze the win out in the critical juncture. God, the opening was a disaster. So you just played knight f3. Yeah, this is a very dubious line for me, of course. I mean, no real player is gonna play this. But anyway, it's fun. Yeah, I, I don't agree that knight of three is dubious. So apparently d5 right away. Yeah, it's very dubious variation for black. All right, anyway, just for fun. I got Mitun, Sentil Natan, big chess player, 665. Looks legit. And Dao is better. Is anyone here a subscriber? Is, is Mitun or Dao is better a subscriber? Because I'm normally taking those challenges first. Arsenal fan, you had me. Look at that mountain. It looks it looks like Antarctica. But you did miss a win though at the end. Oh, you had B four. Yeah, just when I felt like it was safe to get out of the water, you started playing for a win again. You go back and you blockade, and then suddenly the knight reappears, threatening knight f six. And I actually allowed you to get a winning position again. I was... Yeah, I mean, I'm in a really bad way, but... I thought my real mistake, my biggest mistake, was, like, here. As usual, I always... Whenever I play Arsenal fan, I take the wrong way. G South, I told you your account was flagged. He wasn't joking.
So I have to play king takes f8, and then g6 and king g7 is my only chance in this position. Because I have to stop knight f5 above all else while getting my king to g7. Alright, anyway. I can't unflag, I mean, you unflag your account, g -Souths. Is g -Souths, like blocked or something? Let me just check this before I start this game. I didn't block you, did I? Wait. No, we just played in a simul. Hiroku. No, you're not. Where's your account? I thought you're Hiroku. It's Hiroku. Who I was scared there. You are blocked. Wow, why did I block you? I blocked you. Sorry. Alright, I blocked you when you were being annoying the other day. Sorry, I blocked you and I forgot. No, 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 the admin can't unblock you. You were blocked. You no, know, you were blocked on the chest because you pissed me off the other day. I, I didn't realize it. That I blocked you on the chest. You're not really banned from, from Lee Chess. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. All right, I'm going to start now. All right, we'll play one more game with Heroku, if he's still here. What a plot twist. Well, you said something stupid the other day that I didn't like, but it was cool. Nothing major. Don't piss me off on Monday. Oh yeah, you were telling me I shouldn't criticize people or something. I was like, whatever. Yeah, this is lame. <sighs> yeah, I, I went off on one of my friends at poker the other day. I told him, like, why are you getting involved? I, like, I was pissed about a hand, and the guy started, like, speaking up. I was, like, slammed him down. Why do you, do you talk here? The guy who's, like, toxically crazy is going to tell me how to behave. Okay, dude, take your medication and don't criticize me, you know? If you're toxically crazy, you don't really have a right to be, like, correcting other people about their behavior or what they say, you know? It's unbelievable. Just saying. Maybe I'm off base, but... That's pretty annoying, and I think, you know, it probably ain't a bad move, but at the same time, you know what, I think I have to push. And normally the structure isn't great for white, but my opponent doesn't have a light squared bishop. This isn't... This isn't just a standard position. So we've seen a lot of c4, knight b1, knight c3 regrouping type of stuff. But can I play in a way that maybe doesn't involve that? For example. Imagine you're playing in a poker game where this guy 
who's a friend of yours, but is kind of crazy, regularly does like very strange toxic behavior that like turns people off and then he like corrects you when you lose your temper after losing a big hand you know it's like dude do you realize like literally how many people you've like spooked by acting like a freak I'm not allowed to have some emotions or something I mean Emotions run high when there's money involved. Hey, I have a number of ideas I want to try. Okay, so you guys have some training games set up. This, this is... Is that to avoid a future pin with Bishop G5? Nah, I don't, I don't know. I guess he has Knight D7. Pinning and winning. Guys, we're going to create a tournament for Tuesday, tomorrow night. Times are aligned, the six hour difference with New York. Um, back to normal, so to speak. That's cool. Now black maybe has f5. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Oh shit, I walked right into 965. I didn't see it. I didn't see that was your plan whatsoever. Totally blind. But anyway, it's just a big trade. Ultimately. But I think, yeah, that was a sneaky trap. Nice trap. I might be a little bit overextended, but I think we can handle it. Damn, that's a nice trap. I had no idea what you were doing. I mean, this move probably equalizes for black. And it's on a light square. It can be defended by the rook if needs be. It also affords me some space. I don't think it's that bad. I'm giving back my bad bishop. You know, but I have to admit, like, I completely missed his entire idea. I mean, when I'm black, I'm looking for this type of trick all the time. But I never saw it set up in that way it would like probably be more of a red flag if there was a rook on e8 but by putting the queen on e8 he sort of caught me napping i don't i don't recognize the queen on e8 as much as it is like getting out of the pin venture pin so this is a really dangerous move for for him you know to self pin with rookie one and I have rookie one, but he has f5. Only move, but how do I get out of that? You know, how do I take advantage of that? So rookie one, f5, knight d2, knight d2. And black is okay. No, on the other hand, I would get the e-file and uh, access to the e6 square, but I doubt it's enough for me to have like a winning position. Knight A5. It's hard to look at... Oh, you found that. You don't listen to the stream, though, do you, when you play? He was banned. I had no idea I banned you. I don't know. It's surprising that I did that, actually. Top rank, top rank boxing. Well, he just has f5. I mean, I saw this. A 
2293. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize his rating is so high. Jeez. Whoa, what's going on here? With this guy. He's 2600 in bullet. Uh. 300 point bullet jump? Wow, that's so uh, quick. Let's see, all. Oh, dude. He was 1700 in bullet. He went from 1796 in bullet to 2600 bullet in two years. That's a little suspicious. He went from 1958 to 2600 in bullet in one year, in less than a year. Suspicious, a little. Nineteen fifty eight to twenty six hundred in uh in eight months. Um mm, I don't think so, bro. That's pretty weird, dude, but the rest of his ratings look believable. It's pretty weird, dude. That's why I played this account before. And I had a winning score against him. I didn't think it was 20, 2300. I mean, I, I'm like three and a half, one and a half. The player, look at that game, bro. Look at the game. He was 1894. Seriously. Okay. Oh, he has a tactic here, too. Personal fan, dirty or not, you know, what does that have to do with like the fact that he he went up six hundred points in six months is like that's somebody else playing bullet on your account, you know. You don't just gain six hundred points overnight, man. That's like your your friend from across the street. It doesn't necessarily indicate like he's cheating with an engine or something. Most likely it's just his like buddy playing for him or something. Roman's playing on his account or whatever. So Proc, you just keep asking why people don't make the obvious moves. Because chess is a little more complex than that, I guess. Oh, this is weird. Now, if you did have an engine, theoretically, queen f7, queen e6, takes, takes d5. I don't know, man. I, I didn't realize this account was so fishy. I mean, he's he's got a really high chest and 60 rating. Very high in all ratings, actually. Why is his score so bad against me? He just, like, improved 600 points overnight at some point in August last year. Maybe he sold his account to a stronger player. I don't know, man. I mean, people get better, but not that fast. You literally don't go from 1900 to 2600 in six months. Queen e6 takes, takes. Is a weird position. D5. My F2 is hanging. So we have a little bit of a problem. Rook takes looks bad. Queen takes loses a rook. So this is a pretty strange situation. I didn't know I was playing like a 2600.
Ultra Bullet skills. He's 2200 in Classical. What's with the Horde rating? But you know, the, the strongest rating is like the, the Chess 960. He was like 20, high 2100s. I think he's higher than me in Chess 960, but that's easy to manipulate if you're fast. The problem with Chess 960 and Variance is that there's no time differentiation in the rating, so the people jack up the ratings by, by just like dominating in like really fast versions. Here he didn't play Queen takes Queen in D5, which feels humane. Dude, I mean, how many Chess 960 arenas are there, Arsenal fan? There can't be many, but, you know, the problem is they're those big arenas. I think the big ones, like... But at what time is that? There's, like, one every day? Yeah, that's pretty late, dude. I mean, I can't... Well... Yeah, I, I wouldn't try to play at that hour, I mean... For us, that's late. I'm basically retiring at that time. Retarding. Yeah, I wonder why they don't have it earlier when people could actually play in it. So that's like the Asian zonal tournament. Asian, Asian Pacific Rim Chess 960 He's played this ending really kind of lackadaisically Looks like a draw. Well, you can't come in. It's a draw. I guess it's a draw. I'm gonna take G South as a, he's not challenging me. You're unbelievable, dude. After all that complaining, he's not challenging me. No, Black's not pushing, okay? His king is cut off by my rook. Well, he might think he's pushing. But he's pushing for the loss, if anything. And he has no winning chances here. His king is cut off. I mean, Black, Black is trying to lose, I think. Objectively. I just love arguing with Arsenal fan. I can't help it. I just... Deny anything Arsenal says in principle. All right, now, yeah, that, that his end game seems kind of his end game seems kind of shaky actually. But I don't know. Should I allow H four? Maybe not. Maybe my end game is shaky. Maybe I need to be careful. Eliminate losing chances first. I just don't think I can win. It's a draw. That is a really bizarre move, bro. Wow. Now he might actually be lost. I mean, it's hard to believe that you can be 2600 in bullet and not have a good handle on king and pawning games. 
Hikaru would never buy into that. Jisatsu, you gotta challenge me now, like in the next minute. Oh, that's not you. It's Gina Rook. No, I'm not still taking challenges. I'm gonna play like one more game. Is this guy gonna lose this King and Pawning game? I mean, there's literally no way you can be 2600 in Bullet and lose this kind of King and Pawning game. I don't think so, uh, Mr. Coffee. Uh, it's too fundamental. If you if you're 2600 in Bullet, you you pretty much by definition have to have a good end game. At least your king and pawn in game has to be decent. You, you maybe like in complex in games you're not that good, but at least like fundamental king and pawn in games and rook in games, you got to be good at. You know, I could argue, I could see like an argument that maybe, um, maybe he like overpresses. You know, here and there. But it looks to me like it's more than one player playing on the same account, pretty clearly. Okay, everything wins. There's no way that the player who played this King Pun game is 2600 in Bullet. That's all you need to know. Ain't, ain't no way that's that's possible. I don't care how fast your mouse is. This is an increment, but very strange, dude. That's extremely strange. This guy might as well admit to to being uh, an account abuser. Probably not a computer, but his brother, who's like a master, is playing on the account or something. All right. So last game for today, G Souths didn't come back. Unbelievable, dude. All right. After all that, like he didn't challenge me. No, I was ready for it just to be a draw. And he played. C5. Fropped. It's a new kind of haircut. No. No, it, it, it does stuff. Fropped. Chess. Chess site knows all. I take no responsibility for Lee Chess and the order in which he keeps the games there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no comment. Did you delete the wrong comment? Did I make a blunder, Arsenal fan? My blunder was... A, what was my blunder? Oh, that's crazy, bro. You know what the problem was? Before you were like, oh, something about 2290 something. I made a blunder in the King of Pawn game. What? Um, here's the thing. Because of the Hi Hi Heroku thing, I thought I was playing Heroku when the game started. Like, until the tactic with Queen E8. I don't know why. Like, in my mind, I was playing Heroku. 
So that was why, um, what's up with this move order? Black's turn. That's why when, when we went like queen e8 and I blundered the tactic with knight takes d5 and e4, I thought I was playing Heroku. And you were like, oh, I don't know about this, uh, why are you guys suss of me? Oh, no reason. No reason whatsoever. Don't worry about it. I've given up reporting people on Lee Chess, so. Don't have to sweat me, man. Subtle reasons that most people wouldn't pick up. But I don't think, you know, your account is necessarily using a computer. But we've already discussed it all, so I'm not going to go back through it again. Oh, no, no, that's okay. <laughs> Castles. Yeah, bishop e7 is a mistake. b5 is right. Yeah. Anti-cheat detection lessons are... are even more expensive than chess, chess lessons. <laughs> you can contact Tal Baran for more information. $600 an hour. Chess Lubber, what's up? Can you imagine how much Hans charges for, for anti-cheat detection training? There's... Not to say you're cheating in this game, man. It's just like your account is suspicious. Because you played me like... And you went up 600 rating points in, in six months, bro. In Bullet. That's extremely strange, right? You think that's normal? Like, whatever, dude. What's up, chess lover? I really am going to address this. I get that you're 1,700 feet A. But we've already expressed our, our feelings here. Yeah, Arsenal, but you're not from India, where everyone is, like, sick, underrated. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to have this discussion. You grind it, dude. You can't even play a basic king and pawn in game. You're going to be 62600. One of the most important skills of a strong bullet player is, is fundamental end games, dude. There's no way that flies. I don't think he's a computer or anything. I think he's just got a friend playing in his account, you know, grinding him up to 2600. There's no way the same player who played the king and pawn in game against me, played the other games against me, who was like 1800, is 2600 in bullet, you know, so. I'm not going to even discuss it. I'm just going to ban them from, from the chat. I don't have any tolerance for any kind of cheating. If you're sus, you're gone. And you didn't have to cheat against me, necessarily. You know, if your account is sus, it's gone. This is how I lost against uh, Farkash, um, Tibor a couple years ago playing a stupid ass move like bishop e3 I don't remember I'm not even sure if this pawn sack is good I had an old game actually years ago um, I played f4 f4 is better probably better probably bishop e3 is wrong now I don't remember what I did against Farkash TB but I lost the game in the Hungarian team championship in a very similar position. B4 was played, it's known. I think. But after knight a4, Anand played like bishop d7. I believe. And I, I'm trying to remember. I had a game with Chris Damaray, who occasionally comes to my stream. He was a 2200 around his peak. Uh, Mozart, he uh, he lost to me years ago, where it was like f4 f5. But I'm not sure now after knight c4 if I'm supposed to play f4 f5 or bishop e3. Chris lost really badly against the f4 f5 thing. Um, but this may be a bit slow for white. I'm looking at the b6 square. It 
It's just that I don't play the Sozin much these days. And I've kind of forgotten a lot of stuff. Alright guys, last game. I gotta go after this. It's late for me. I started the stream a little bit late. Um, you know, no offense if your account is suspicious on it. Don't take it personally. But I'm just... I've gotta weed people out who might be... You know, not trustworthy. Um, you don't have to call my mom, like, bad names or anything like that. Just move on. If you don't call my mom bad names in the chat, I won't report you to Lee Chess for being abusive. And that's how it goes. All right. Um, yeah. I've pretty much given up on like reporting cheaters to any chess site because clearly they don't have the capacity to deal with it. And it probably doesn't matter like what site you play on. I think it's by definition a matter of exponential. Pretty hard to get you an exponential amount of cheaters or flag them all. I imagine Thibault is there like kicking people out all day long. At some point it gets a little old. Um, you've got script to do that shit. Yeah, but the evil chess site, we've talked about this a lot. I mean, you know, when you run run a site where it's, like, money-based, are they? Are you sure they're banning their premium subscribers, Arsenal fan? Maybe just the ones that are not premium subscribers. Membership has its privileges. Don't forget. If you pay with American Express, you... You have like a, a longer grace period. I mean, the chess patronage. Yeah, all the all the wealthy donors are all playing on Lee Chess. Well, I think that Lee Chess is going to have a, a more poorer following, but yeah, it's it's okay. It's possible they have patron. I know we talked about this before. It's all a conspiracy. You can't imagine paying to a site just to cheat at it. Mr. Coffee, are you serious? What else would you pay for? Why else are you paying? I don't understand, dude. They'll just create another account. And pay with that one too. <laughs> Maybe that's the logic. You know, if you ban them after paying, they probably won't come back. Then you don't have a customer anymore. What is Nikol Kamath, Arsenal fan? I don't even know. Arno Nikol. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Right, well, I mean, it's a joke to him, right? Everything's a joke if you're a billionaire. I guess. You feel like you're God. You can do whatever you want, you know? Look at Elon Musk. He thinks he's like God. I mean... No, billionaires are... They're exempt, Arsenal fan, from the rules that everyone else has to live by. You clearly didn't get that memo. Um, maybe they didn't get the memo. No, billionaireship is a, a license to do whatever you want. Clearly. You know, name your billionaire. All you need to do is get a billion dollars, yeah, and then you can do whatever you want. Well, almost. Was Jeffrey Epstein a billionaire? I would guess so, right? Um, but there are some limitations. Maybe not everything you want, but <clears throat> anyway, you have a much longer leash. Um, clearly, Donald Trump is pushing the envelope. But, um, damn, should I just take that? I don't know. This is actually 
Speaking of Queen F3, Knight takes C5 and then C4 will win an exchange in some positions. Now that my rook is on A3, which is great, I don't know if I'm really justified in sacking an exchange, and my knight doesn't have a good square. This is kind of pissing me off. So I think I have to move my rook. But no, I mean, white has compensation here. And I'm not playing for time. You know, it may look like I'm playing for time. But I'm taking my time, I'm thinking things through, and then I'm trying to keep some pressure on the clock, but I'm not in a hurry. Do I look like I'm in a hurry? Knight takes e4. Uh, pawn takes or knight takes. This is a really close call. Maybe he should give up his bishop there. He probably should give up his bishop. Only getting my pawn back. Notice this guy, he's good with the increment. Most people are not. You still, you can really recognize the difference between a player who plays in the increment and one who doesn't. This is, this is very obvious. He's okay with the increment situation where he's like low on time. Most people just totally freak out. Oh, just made it. You just made it. Uh, rook a8. <clears throat> Take the pawn. Dude, you're very materialistic. What pawn? The pawn I already took, you mean? He's in trouble. I have knight c5 coming to a theater near you. But it's not fast enough. Unbelievable. Just in the nick of time. So does this work? Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully. Hmm. Bishop takes c5. No. I have to do this. So this is the question. Who? I thought my queen wasn't protected. You had me. That was a nice April Fool's joke. I thought I couldn't take the bishop. I was like, if I missed queen e8 at the end, I would be really pissed there. And the back rank mate. That's a nice move. Hopeless. Until I get mated in one. Then it's not so hopeless anymore. I gotta go, guys. It was nice knowing you. I like how that guy earlier was asking me, like... What did I do that was sus? You think I'm going to tell you? Like, that's like, I'm going to help you be a better cheater and avoid detection or what? What was it that tipped you off to the fact that my account was sus? I don't know. Maybe the fact like the last time I played you like six months ago, you were 1,800. And Arsenal's like, hey, but this guy's 2,300. I'm like, oh, okay. 
I associate like a name with a rating, approximate rating level, and then you're like 500 points higher than that, like overnight. Okay. But um, what was going on here? I gotta go, guys. Thanks for watching. How's my inaccuracy? Was I sus in this game? One blunder. Gotta get the blunder in there. Three inaccuracies, one blunder. I blew my advantage with a blunder. So the opening is is known, probably. Yeah, I wasn't sure about bishop takes uh, bishop e3 here. I'm I'm pretty sure. Black's supposed to play bishop d7, right? This is, like I said, it's it's Lao Tia Anand, 1997. So maybe new stuff has developed since then, but this is this is what Dame Murray played against me. I think against Chris I played f4. And it looks like the score here isn't so good for white. It's still white has massive competition. It's unbelievable that white has a negative score in this position. That's wild, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that opening explorer. Black. Man, Bishop B7 isn't even you know, on the radar. That's crazy. Look at Stockfish. The best possible move for Black to keep the disadvantage under a pawn is Knight F6. And Black hasn't lost a single game with Bishop B7 in this position. That's insane. G6 is number three move. Bishop b7, f5. Yeah, I remember the Boris Prime and Siege game, actually. That was played in like Bermuda or New York Open, I can't remember. Man, this is like the, the Esserman thing. This might have been my game with Chris, actually. You know, this is an Esserman uh, Mora Gambit tactic. And, and poor, well, I'm not sorry for Boris Prime and I mean, he's kind of a jerk. He was always kicking my feet under the table. Okay, I mean, he lost, but it's a winning position for white, you know? Chess isn't easy if you're not a computer, you know? Well, this this was similar to what happened in my game, and I just crushed, crushed the opponent. Um, but... Interestingly, black's supposed to play knight f6 here. This is the best. Oh man, that's crazy. Jens Christensen and Larry Kaufman faced each other in 1972. The year I was born. They were around the same rating, Jens Christensen. And they would both go on. That's so funny. Little did they know in 1972, they would both go on to get the Grandmaster titles by winning the World Senior Championship. Man, that's wild. Can you imagine? They are both like high 2300, around 2400. Larry Kaufman and, and Jens Christensen are still alive. And they both won the World Senior and made the GM title with it. Yeah, someone here, the computer wants to play G4. That's uh, pretty ballsy. Anyway, I just want to see if my move was right. Rook E1. So that's like bishop d5 land. Rookie 1, d5, bishop f4. This is also nasty. But you've got to be very tactically aware and, and be quick here. Robert Rowley, 1989, DD Master, who lost the miniature against me. wrestling match they would rip his hair off <laughs> he couldn't have a wrestling match because they would rip his rug off any wrestlers have rugs all right when larry kaufman got his new hair he immediately got stronger i noticed that um man velimirovich versus zlatko zlatko went into this jeez yeah this is bad for black damn yeah, don't play this line. If you play knight e4, you have to play bishop e7. 
But this whole line is risky for black. Better not to do it. You know, you should just play bishop e7. It's normal chess. Bishop e7, queen f3, and then we're in main line. Novikov, Gelfand, whatever. Um, you lost him in the last round of Maryland High School Championship. Dude, I lost to Larry twice. Both were tough games. Once in a Rookin game that I should have drawn, and uh, the other time was like a Kings Indian. He's a tough player. He's well prepared. Um, yeah, but he was funny because when I first met him, he had like no hair, and I like thought he was like a million years old. And this is like in 19, 1990. Then suddenly he like had hair, and he looked younger. And I was like, what the hell is going on? You know? Um, you're talking about Ray Kaufman. Oh, okay. No, no. I'm talking about his dad, obviously. Um, yeah, Ray was here. That's like a bathroom stall. I read on a bathroom stall that Ray was here. But Ray was here. Ray is okay. I like Ray. He was nice. Um, but, um, no, obviously... Oh, you played Larry, yeah. You played them both. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'll see you later. It was nice knowing you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Coffee.